Oh, gee, so gee, Doc, Doc Derrickson, Doctor Derrickson. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for for seeing me. I want to thank you. I, I just don't know where to begin. Well, you know my name already. I'm Larry Cannoli. I'm Larry Cannoli. I'm the, uh, the assistant director for Anastasia. Believe me, but he fired me. He fired me. I mean, I have all these creative, wonderful, magnificent, fantastic ideas, but yet the man fires me. He fires me. So here I am on my own. Trying to strike out, and 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 what am I going to do? What am I going to do? All right. Well, I've got this one project. Okay. All right. There's this singer. Okay. She's like a diva. All right. Okay. So she's about to have like this hit record that's going to go crazy all over the country, and all you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So anyway, she's going to get on stage that night, but then she like has this injury. Now I imagine it as a, as a foot injury. You know, I hadn't decided exactly how she was going to hurt her foot, but it was a foot injury. Now, we're going to have this triumphal ending where she limps onto the stage and all in spite of her foot injury. But no, I don't know. You know, there's this creative insult consultant. <laughs> I call him an insultant. Anyway, there's this creative consultant. He says it should be a neck injury. So I've turned it around in my mind. You know, I've toyed with it and all. And I haven't decided whether to have her, you know, get whiplash in a wreck or maybe her boyfriend, you know, like tackles her and like puts a stranglehold around her neck. You know, one of those wrestling news or whatever. Anyway, I'm, you know, I, I like the idea of a neck injury. I mean, I can see how that has creative possibilities and potentials and all. And probably I'll, I'll go ahead and, you know, heed the advice of the creative consultant and go with the neck injury and what have you. After that, though, Dr. Derek, after that, after that, I really want to break into nonfiction. You know, I want to make my mark in the documentary world. I've been wanting for I don't know how long, at least a decade, maybe the past 10 years or all, I've been wanting to do a documentary on the extreme bastardization of high culture. Now, I know that's kind of an absurd term. It's a lofty term. It's a pseudo-intellectual term, you know, but I understand that certain people within certain circles will grasp from my meaning. Now, the other documentary that I'd like to do is about elderly women at Arizona truck stops. I mean, you know, I don't know. I saw this thing about how there's so many interesting elderly women at Arizona truck stops, and I thought, well, you know, that'd make a hell of a documentary, Doc. It would, you know. I'm saying, I think it would be a hit. It would probably hit PBS. I could probably enter it in Cannes Film Festival. I mean, who knows what? I mean, shit, it could have a life of its own on Netflix and YouTube, and who knows where else if I release it on DVD, you know what I'm saying. Just anyway, I'm probably going to do that. But you know what? I've always wanted to do a creature feature. As a kid, I was like enthralled with all those universal horror movies. So, Doc, I want to do this like creature feature about this amorphous simian, you know, kind of a cross between the blob and King Kong. I haven't worked all the logistics out on that yet or the special effects, you know. I understand with CGI and all, they can do all sorts of things. I've never worked on a computer really don't know how I need to. I need a, an assistant assistant director under me. You know, I have a few people that, you know, are like computer savvy and all. But anyway, Doc, I, I hope you can help me. That's why I'm here. Please help me, Doc. Help me, Doc. 